Coach, big news of the day, no Vernon Adams Jr. Can you give us an update on his status? So if he wasn't here, we would be just fine, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, Vernon came in, he's got an abdominal strain and we're being cautious with him. I think he's gonna play, um, but that was the doctor recommendation. So he came in and just, that, that's what it is. So right now, probably put it at 50-50? Um, I would just be speculating. I think it's much better than that, okay. but that's just me speculating, talking to Vernon and stuff, so I think he'll be all right. This was more of a doctor's recommendation as, as I'd let it quiet down and try to have him be ready for uh, game day. That being said, how'd Jake Dolagala look in practice running with the ones? Good, good. You can tell he's been down this road before of where he's um, been a starter and also been a backup where you know or you don't know what's going on during a week. And so... Um, key for backup quarterbacks is that they to always be ready so that's easy to say it's also another thing to to do it and to live it every day in the meetings and making sure you're ready to go and you could tell that he knew what he was doing today how much does it help having an experienced guy at number two guys started games in the shift totally so like i said just that he understands that at any time whether that's during the week or during a game that your number is called that you're not in the you know, oh, oh man, I can't believe it. it. It's that you know what's going on and you're preparing like you're always playing. You were happy with the win against the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Conversely, you said you wanted to see your improve, team improve on things. What are some of the things you're working on this week? There's always stuff. There, there really is. There's, uh, um, there's, there's plays that we need to have. There's was, there was some better coverage we could have had. Um, there was things in the run game we wanted to, to stop. Um, I know our offense too would say there's there were there were plays where we could have run a route better, or completed a pass, and that's what it's going to come down to in some of these games is uh, making certain plays when they need to be made, especially in the fourth quarter. And we made enough of them last game, but obviously we'd like to make a few more. You mentioned talking improving on penalties as well. I mean, how tough is that in practice? Because clearly there's no officials. So is it amongst we, the players we mainly? We, no, we'll call it. We'll call them in practice, or we will definitely note them. Um, in practice as we watch film and if uh, the big thing for me is repeat offenders I don't want guys to play so cautious that they're saying I never can take a penalty yeah. on the on the flip side though if a guy is a, a repeat offender then obviously we got to change what he's doing or change him or or you know, whatever that means lineup changes uh, we're seeing Ronald Kent jr. at half Siante Evans moving over to the corner Jordan Perryman not running with the ones is that gonna hold through all the way through the game probably yeah we're still we're there's still a few things we're trying to figure out um, as far as where we want to end up as a, as a team just there's some guys that are new to us um, which includes those guys right there. And we're trying to make sure we line up with the best uh, the best combo. We're going to need all those guys. But again, um, we're just trying to uh, field the best uh, lineup that we can. Speaking of lineup, Javon Katoy back out there looked pretty good. Uh, hamstring, not an issue, I take it? No, he seems seems good to go. He's had no issues, Been has been full, full all week. And so we fully anticipate him to be good to go. Before we let you go, did you have a moment of silence last night for your beloved Edmonton Oilers? <laughs> My beloved Edmonton Oilers. <laughs> I I do remember I watched the game seven and whatever that was, 2006, 2007, and it was like a carbon copy where they were down two to one in the third period and they just couldn't score. So I think they lost that one three to one on an empty netter. But same uh, same same uh, same play, different actors. Well, you've seen enough championships anyway, so I don't <laughs> yeah. feel too sorry for you. Yeah, all right. Thanks, coach. Yeah.